Okay, continuing on the um, thoughts about the, the video takedown and censorship and thoughts regarding Michael Sarian slash David Whitehead, because I guess they're one of the same now. <laughs> but I'm not sure that kind of, kind of makes it, like, is it really unslaved when there's two of them? Okay, I'll stop. <laughs> anyway, um, Jenny Parker was recording to, um, was, Jenny Parker was re responding to, um, Critical Unity's comment, and he says, um, yeah, for real, if I could afford to, I would join Unslaved paid subscription, but, um, skint as hell right now. <laughs> so, yeah, Torrance and eBay DVDs are the only option. Ha, huh? yeah, yeah, imagine if they played this stuff in schools. In literally one generation, we could change the whole game. Hmm. Interesting. That's an interesting thought. If we could play all the videos and you didn't have to worry about, you know, money, the illusion of money and, and shit like that, then, you know. And Critical Unities replies, um, there should be Cedars for Origins and Oracles. Keep trying. I was given the DVD set but lost it, so thank the torrent gods. Um... Very cool. I love Johnny Parker. It seems like he really wants to get this information out. Very cool. Yeah, very interesting. Yeah, Jenny Parker has a very good point here. Um, he was uh, responding to to um, to another to a Ibishar spirit number two thousand eight. Um, yeah, no, no worries. Yeah, you hear all the time from some of the so-called uh, truth channels or whistleblowers that quote humanity is waking up end quote um, up uh, quote. Consciousness is rising, end quote, etc., etc. I don't see it. In fact, I still have never met a person out on the street, in general, who is truly awake to all aspects of the control system and how far back it goes. Um, and Ibishar spirit uh, goes back and he says, uh, Exactly. Even friends and family still do not seem to fully grasp the fact that the game is rigged. Very interesting. Going through more of these, um... Oh yeah, here's here's one from John Smith. Um, he's, he writes... Um, um, I have had videos of... I have had his videos removed from my channel as well. So to compensate for that, I have put... I have put the videos on DVD... On DVDs and given them... And give them away for free to anyone who's interested. Hmm. That's a very good idea. Good idea, John Smith. Rocky Rock. Very good idea. See, these are these are good ideas. Um, oh, here's here's a nice one. Um, Karina Nalbandian. I'm I'm, I'm probably butchering her name, but ba basically she says, uh, Michael's research is gold. Very rare researchers. He is deep level stuff. It's definitely not for everyone. Not everyone is put, is ready for the information is, he's putting out. And I am pausing there with her comment. I want to comment also that, you know, with all of his deep research, no wonder he's getting co-opted or censored or brainwashed or whatever you want to call it. You know, because, you know, he, he's, his earlier stuff is different than his newer stuff. It doesn't take a brain surgeon to figure that out. Mm. And, and, yes, water. And, you know, I'm not trying to say, like, <laughs> David Whitehead is, you know, the Dark Lord or whatever, and, you know, I don't know. But it's so, you know, there's a big difference, you know. Something psychologically happened along the way to Michael Sarian. That's the truth. And, but anyways, I'm going to go on with Karina's comment. So basically, um, 
Well, this is interesting. She says that I know that he's very careful who he deals with. Um, he's turned down a lot of people. I don't think it's right to automatically assume... Uh, I don't think it's right to automatically assume that the megalithic ruins around the world were built by aliens. We go into this with preconceived uh, notions about aliens, but I truly believe that these megalithic structures were built, were built by humans. Okay. Um, what we call history is fabrication. Yeah, that's true. Um, this means we don't really know what went on in this world in the past. It's easy enough for the fabricators of history to fool humanity about what about what went on here 200 years ago, let alone, let alone 2,000 years ago. That's for certain. These megalithic structures around the world were built by our forefathers. We have, dis we have descended, not descendant, from these people. Research white gods are Hyperboreans. Interesting. Um, Hyperboreans, I recommend you to look up a researcher named Sylvie Ivanova. Her YouTube channel is New Earth. Okay, I don't know vet her, you know, research her. I have no idea about her. Anyways, look up her work and a lot of this will make sense to you. From what I can tell, Michael has fully dedicated himself to his work slash research. He had to set aside his personal wants and desires to take in all of this knowledge and then begin to author books, do lectures, and create videos and DVDs. He barely got anything in return. Um, he has to pay to live like all the rest of us. I can understand why Michael would want to make sure that he gets some sort of credit recognition in return for all the work he has done and the sacrifices he made. Um, and that also that also reminds me of what Michael, Mark, what Mark Passio has posted this morning, this afternoon on uh, July, not July fifteenth, which is July, on January fifteenth about um, about needing needing volunteers in the Philadelphia area. And, you know, and he's, he's sacrificed and, you know, he hasn't gone weirdo <laughs> or, I don't know, just like, just something, something weird, something more has happened and at least Passio seems a bit more grounded in my opinion. And I'm not, I'm not saying that all of them's life is bad. I mean, I haven't listened to all their stuff, but still that... <laughs> You know, I don't know. It just bothers me, you know, because he's he's also sacrificed himself, and he hasn't like said you have to pay like twelve dollars or twenty dollars or even ten dollars a month to even get access to the What on Earth Is Happening podcast. Just saying. So that was Karina. Oh, Ibishar Spirit also says, um, Ibishar Spirit number 2010 says, I think it's a mistake too. It's becoming too greedy now. You want people to wake up, but then want to charge them monthly fees to watch the work that is meant to awaken the spirit of rebellion. You want to be a corp or something? <laughs> Seems a little hypocritical to me. Susie Q has a really good point. Did it ever occur to any of you that maybe Michael isn't in, and she she capitalizes, total control of his stuff anymore? Question mark, question mark. As we have all seen when someone spreading truth, and she capitalizes truth, um, gets a little too popular, they, they get, and then she um, capitalizes, taken over. Am I wrong? So what makes Sarian any different? Uh, and vegan truther... Suggests Michael Cremo. He's a good one. Michael um, C R E M O with forbidden archaeology. Really good stuff there. Um, <laughs> Harvey Chuckle says, "Is uh, Sarian still charging five hundred dollars to join his quote unquote online mystery school?" Um, I don't know. Jason Bang says, "Everyone must watch his videos." Mm. Oh, JC Nahundi says, um, Dude, I used to love the information Sarian provided, but as time went on, it became more obvious he was playing the game. No worries, man. 
Oh, Critical Unity makes a really good point here. He says, realizing it's about the information, not the messenger, would be a good place to start. And I think that's I think that's a good place where I'll end right now, cause, um, yeah, cause I can hyper focus on that. But I really want that's a really good point. I just want to get the information out, and you know, there's more than one way to skin the cat. And I'm not saying I'm going to post a video up again, but cause you know he he uh, in the video Michael talks about the various um, ancient sagas, ancient tales that talks about the. The, the cataclysm, you know, the Enuma Elish, the um, Popol Vuh, um, and things like that. But I, you know, I think I'll make it like a, I don't know, maybe a PowerPoint presentation or something. I'll, I'll do something. I'll, I'll take the notes on those. Um, so, and maybe pick up those DVDs as well. But hopefully the, they're still on Amazon. So those, so the copyright police don't knock at my door. But anyways, I do wish them well, Mr. Whitehead and Mr. Saran, but they do bring up very good points. So, but anyway, God bless you guys. <laughs> Creator bless you guys.